Rate of change of ladder height. A ladder 13 meter long is leaning against a wall. If the base of the ladder is being pulled away from the wall at the rate of 0.5 meters per second, how fast is the top of the ladder dropping when its base is 5 meter from the wall? So I have a diagram here which represents the situation. That's the wall. This is the ground level and a 13 meter long ladder is leaning against the wall. It makes an angle of theta with the ground. So instead of x and y, this time I'm using different variables, g for ground and w for wall, right? So get used to using different kinds of variables. Now, <clears throat> it is given to us that the ladder is being pulled at 0.5 meters per second. So that is the rate of change along the ground. So we can write this as dg dt equals to 0 0.5 meters per second right so that is given to us and what we need to find is the rate at which top of the ladder is dropping down right so this is the top of the ladder as it slides it drops down right so we need to find change in this height this height is being represented by the variable w so we want to find dw with respect to time this is what we need to find when its base is 5 meters from the wall at the instance when this distance is 5 meters from the wall so we'll write that as g equals to 5 right get used to different kinds of variables now what we do in such examples is we make a similar triangle this is a general situation right where the ladder is falling but this is specific instance when we want to find all the parameters right so at an instance when the base of the ladder is 5 meters what is the situation this is what it represents at that instance ladder is 13 this base is 5 height is going to be 13 square minus 5 square square root 13 square is 169 169 minus 25 is 144 and square root of 144 is 12 so we get 12 as the height at that particular instance, right? So we know when g equals to 5, at that time we also know that w, this height, is going to be 12, right? Now there are two approaches to do this problem. One is we can use trigonometry at this instance, or and the other one is the algebraic equations, right? So what I will do here is, well, we can use either one of them. Uh, we have a similar question where we are trying to find rate of change of angle. Now when it comes to angle, then we have no option. We have to go for trigonometry, right? So as you can see in this situation, when the ladder is sliding, how things are related? This distance is increasing, right? And the rate is given to us. As it slides, the angle is decreasing. That means we can always find rate of change of this angle, which will be decreasing. Height is falling down. So we can always find rate of change of height. So in this example, I'm showing you how to find rate of change of height. In the next example, I'll show you how to find rate of change of angle, but all are related, right? Now, if you want to approach it in the way trigonometry does, in that case, what we can do is we can relate W theta and, and the side, right? With tan, correct? and then solve the question. So I'll leave that to you. In fact, I will use only the expressions which we have learned, algebraic expressions, Pythagorean theorem to solve this. So how do you relate all these three things? So I'll not involve theta. So we can have W, G, and 13. So these three things are related with Pythagorean theorem. So we know 13 square is equal to W square plus G square. But what do we need to find? We need to find D, W, D, T. So let's write W and G on the left side and we say W square plus G square is equals to 13 square. So that is how these three things are related. So at any instance of time, distance of foot of the ladder from the wall, square of that, and height square is always equals to length of the ladder, which is fixed, which is not changing. Now if I find derivative of this function, with respect to time, what do I get? I get 2w dw over dt 
plus 2g dg over dt equals to 0 since length of the ladder is not changing with time right since we need to find dw dt we can isolate that so we get dw dt equals to we'll take it on this side so we get minus we'll divide by 2 so 2 and 2 will cancel so we get g over w times dg dt so that is an expression we get for dw dt right now in this expression we need to find dw dt at an instance when the distance is 5 that is when g is 5 so let's let's solve for that so we get dw dt as we started with g equals to 5 is now equals to minus the value of g is 5 given to us when the foot is 5 meters from the wall divided by 12 times dg dt which is rate of change at which it is sliding away what is 0 0.5 or let's write it half it's easy to calculate with that times half right 0 0.5 is as good as half right so that is what it is and we get minus 5 over 24 as our answer so that is how we can quickly get our answer for such a problem and now we can write it down as in the words asked for how fast is the top of the ladder dropping when its base is 5 meters from the wall so we can write rate of change or rate of change of the height when the ladder is 5 meters from the wall is 5 over 24 you can always write it in decimals also units are meters per second meters per second negative indicates decreasing so we can write decreasing here so decreasing at the rate of 5 over 24 meters per second would have been a better statement correct so i'll write decreasing in the brackets and write this with minus sign so rate of change of height is minus 5 over 24 meters per second that really means height is decreasing at the rate of 5 over 24 meters per second right now you can look into the next video which is discussing rate of change of theta where we'll move on to trigonometric relations right and let that be the transition from what we had been doing algebraic simple equations to trigonometric equations thank you and all the best